For my generation, riding the white horse was a thing to be avoided. But in the context of the four horses of the apocalypse, the complete opposite is the truth. Because the white horse represents the spirit aspect of humans, the higher self. Hello everybody, I'm Roger Simpson, clinical hypnotist at the Flow Center in Dallas. You can book a free consultation with us at theflowcenter.com or by hitting the book now button at hypnosisoverthephone.com or call my private number 214-699-6627. The Watcher on the Wall, uh, the Lighthouse, the Dungeon Master. Well, these are all like one of the aspects of the white horse. If your conscious mind is the captain and all that happens to your body and mind that you aren't aware of, is, if that is your crew, then the white horse is the one that owns the ship and watches over it from the shore, warns the captain of dangers, like a lighthouse would. If the captain's job is to set the course, it's the owner's job to send help when needed, for sure. But more importantly, he defines and sets the mission, the, the reason for going to the destination, or at least he should be. A pirate ship is just driven by opportunity. It really has no mission. Its top goal or course is set by the captain with the consent of the crew. There really is no owner to answer to. So, knowing what the white horse does in you as a combination of the body, emotions, and mind, how do you know what your ship's mission actually is? Well, you, you ask the white horse. You ask your higher self. Now, under hypnosis, the hypnotist can simply ask your higher self, what is your life's mission? Uh, why were you born on this planet, in this country? Or state in this particular time period to accomplish as your life's work. Many times a client will simply say what their life mission is. Sometimes a, a way to visualize that mission, say using the TV monitor in your peaceful place in your mind, uh, literally having your higher self spell it out in black and white lettering what it is. Sometimes you can tell the client as a post-hypnotic suggestion that the higher self will spell it out for you through a dream or inspiration or, or visions or vivid idea uh, later when you are ready to know it. Uh, believe me, your higher self knows exactly in detail why you are here now. The important takeaway here is that life and even whole civilizations have been pulled along by these four horses. It's like you or your whole world are being pulled in a chariot with three horses, three of these horses galloping along, harnessed right in front of you in a row, side by side. And the lead horse is in front of these three in a single harness, lead horse. In the last three videos, it's like the chariot's lead horse is either the pale green horse, being the body or material world, or the red horse being the strong emotions or passions, or the black horse, the cold calculating intellect. On the civilization level, being led by any of these three will always end in total destruction and, I hate to say it, mountains of corpses. You can kind of see how a sort of social evolution has taken place where we started out as a might makes right human race a few thousand years ago. Then civilizations run by its passions and hatred and greed up to the Renaissance and the invention of the printing press and the scientific method. And from that time to now, it's been run by the intellect. So the natural progression would be to eventually, for we humans to be eventually be led by the white horse, the spirit, the higher self, not the lower spirit. And I think there will be setbacks because the new thing, the new aspect of our human race is always the most fragile. 
uh, the most uncertain of all of our previous, you know, set in our ways aspects. But I kind of see it as inevitable that the higher self, the higher spirit that is in all of us, uh, will someday solidify and crystallize, and, if you will, and you know, we'll be riding the, the, the white horse, uh, carrying out our life's missions from the higher self, individualized, meaning uh, not divided, yet not centralized, yet together, yet. <laughs> This is Roger Simpson, clinical hypnotist at the Flow Center in Dallas. You can book a free consultation or an appointment at theflowcenter.com or by hitting the book now button at hypnosis over the phone, just as effective, or just call me on my private number 214-699-6627. So if you're gonna ride, ride the wild.